So today I'm going to talk about water filters and hoses and fittings and a couple other things. Um, my travel trailer has a filter that's built on board in here. I just changed it out. And what it has is a, a water pure model KW1. And what I do is I, I usually I usually just use this filter, but for the last year I tried something uh, different. I also use this filter at the same time. This one connects in line. A lot of you have seen it. They sell them at Walmart for maybe two for 25 bucks or something like that. This one here is a um, 20 micron filter, and this one's a 30 micron. This one will capture more. Uh, particles than this one will so what I did was <clears throat> I decided to uh, put this filter on and see how much it's capturing by looking at uh, the filter that I just changed out to see how dirty it is so after one year this is what it looked like it's uh, dirtier but dirty doesn't always necessarily mean it's not good. Um, this filter is made to filter out 10,000 gallons. Uh, our, our drinking water in our trailer, uh, the water after it's filtered, if we're at a campsite where the water is, we, we feel comfortable that it's safe to drink, <clears throat> we might drink it, but we usually drink filtered water that we carry on board with us. Uh, but we use the water mainly for bathing, showering, um, and uh, we brush our teeth with it and do dishes also and flush the toilet. So <clears throat> after one year, this filter here is, they say to change it out uh, about every three months, but I do every six months. And this one every year, like I said. <clears throat> The hose we use is, I use a Flexilla ho hose, it's a drinking water hose, and I found it's pretty nice. It doesn't uh, kink very easily, it's easy to roll up, whereas the Camco hose that a lot of people buy is thin, and um, it just kinks up. As you can see, this Camco hose here is kinked, and what that'll do is, being kinked, it'll break it down over time. When you put water in it, it flexes out, but uh, I don't necessarily like that, the kinking hose, it just, it's really cheap. The, uh, the hoses, I usually wrap them up with the, it's a, a mega cuff. You can buy those at uh, Home Depot. This is what they look like right here. It's just a ratchet, ratcheting style. And these aren't too much, so I use it on our electrical cords and everything. So uh, it keeps everything neat. When I roll the hoses up, I connect end to end so that it keeps it uh, sealed up so no nothing gets in the hose to contaminate the water. This green hose is kind of nice because you can see it and it will... Uh, be obvious if you got it laying down on the ground if you did after you disconnected your trailer then you won't drive away uh, and leave it because you'll see it <clears throat> um, another thing is let's talk about um, hooking up your hose to your trailer um, right now what I do is I put a 90 here connect my hose this is the city water have it all connected up without this your hose would be sticking out and possibly kink so have this on it keeps the weight kind of down if if you have it out like that it's going to be pulling more on this fitting it goes down here i come down here to the filter i connect this up to the hose bib and this is a project uh, pressure reducing valve it reduces pressure down to 45 pounds a lot of campgrounds could be from 30 to 100 plus pounds of pressure 
So what I do is I, I hook this up first to the uh, campground hose bib, go through the filter, then the, the water is filtered and goes through the hose and it goes to the trailer. I didn't used to do that. I used to put my pressure regulator here and then the filter at the hose bib on the campground until I saw at a campground that had over 100 pounds of pressure. I pulled up and the trailer next to me was hooked up to water and they actually had it hooked up where the pressure regulator to knock it down to 45 pounds is here and then the water filter was right here and then they went directly into the hose bib and the pressure was high they had a camco filter or a hose like this one and since the water pressure was re being reduced at the trailer rather than the hose bib this hose was just bulging it had a huge huge bubble just here ready to explode so since then i decided to put the regulator at the uh, hose bib instead at the trailer what i got also is i carry um three five gallon jugs made for water on the trailer in the truck in my pickup truck and a filter so if I am camping and I'm not hooked up to hookups, what I do is I take and um, fill these up with water, filtered water, that I filtered through this here. Run that, fill these up. I pour these into my fresh water tank, the, the five gallon jugs, and, and I continue using water in my trailer. Because what I found is my my uh, gray and black water tanks will actually combine will hold a little more water than what's in my fresh water tank so it's kind of good to do um, another thing I do is whenever we fill our fresh water tank when we don't have hookups is I always run the water uh, I can take this regulator off I don't need it hook up to the hose bib at a campground or fill site, run the water through the filter into the trailer, but not into here, but into my fill valve that fills the fresh water tank. And that way my water is filtered. Um, <clears throat> some people are like, why, why do I even need a filter? Well, um, it's catching particles. If this is catching that much, this one's probably catching a lot more. And those there's particles that will go into your water and then plug up your screens on your sink or your shower head or your toilet orifice uh, so it, it'll stick on or it won't flush properly. Or it'll even um, cause the water to stain uh, sinks or your shower. Uh, so it's, it's kind of nice to have that. Um, these will not make your water safe to drink. You need a really fine micron filter for that, um, which they, <clears throat> if it was really that fine, you would have hardly any water pressure at all. So um, if you have any question about the water that you're hooked up to at a campground, um, don't, I wouldn't drink it. Honestly, I wouldn't drink it. Um, <clears throat> Another thing they say about these water filters, this one here, after you get it, you need to hook up to water and run it for about a minute. There's little particles in there, fine particles and some charcoal that will need to be flushed out. You'll see it come out dirty at the end here. And after a minute, then it's clear. This one here they say to run it for five minutes. So once I'm at a campground, I'll run my water through it um, for or five minutes and it'll, it'll clear the water right up. So far, our water's been real clean. We haven't had any stains or uh, plugged screens. Um, 
in our, our restroom or um, either either the uh, also the kitchen sink so uh, faucet so we're good so I think about I covered pretty much all of it um, and let's see I'm just making sure to check on my notes so that's that's about it everybody and I just want to wish everybody happy camping and if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it at all thumbs down leave comments I, I like to read comments and I always reply back to people if they have questions um, and also uh, if you like this video want to see more then just hit the subscribe tab and the bell to get future notifications if you want to see other videos I've made in the past I think I've made over 30 of them uh, just click on my name and my videos will pop up and you'll be able to see other ones that might help you along and just so you know I don't get paid to do any of these videos I just do them to help people out and uh, share my knowledge and and hopefully people write in the comments their ideas too to share with others Happy camping and take care everybody.